let's admit this we all have manipulated in our interviews because having a skill that is required for a job and the art of cracking an interview to get to the job they are two different things that do not always mean the same thing this is where the current entire business order is if not flawed then at least skewed in the favor of generalists in the favor of the extrovert people the smart people who know how to crack the interview so this is one segment where uh, i'm surprised no credible startup is coming i mean we have seen startups on employee productivity on employee assessment analytics and all these things but there's been no credible startup who wants to address this problem of employee interview because this is the way the root of the problem if we are, we are failing to map the competencies with the right profiles this competency mapping if this is something where we are really failing then we are faltering right at the first step and this has been going on since 20th century so the amount of uh, problem of errors the stack that we have built up is insane over the years the problem is compounded i'm not saying that no employee is uh, uh, is is actually uh, coming to uh, uh, to the company with the right competency mapping but there are many people who know a lot but they are not able to crack an interview because it, cracking an interview is altogether a different skill altogether and they despite having all the knowledge and skills they sometimes uh, do not get a job so uh, uh, for example what i'm trying to say is this uh, in the current scenario uh, the problem is your hr is making the first call is screening and filtering the profiles and then they are passing it on to the subject matter expert for further round of interview i'm saying can we reverse this order can we reverse this order and let the subject matter experts and the department heads do the subjective screening and assessment of the candidates and then then they should pass the profile on to to for the routine closer to the hrs just reverse this order why because the initial screening and uh, filtering of profiles by hrs is not always the right mapping because if if your company is hiring for a data scientist how is your hr going to know about the fine differences between the models of say python and r no i mean they, they won't know the differences between uh, say react framework and angular framework no uh, at best they can google but doing google is 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 a very naive understanding of any subject i mean uh the best person to judge engage and assess the candidates subjective skills is the subject matter expert your department head so what i'm saying is let your data scientist uh, do the initial screening and filtering of all the profiles uh and then once they uh, come to a conclusion that the candidate has the subjective understanding of the core competencies uh then they can pass it on to 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 the hr for routine and administrative closer so just reversing the uh, hiring process can do us a lot of good in future but this is still not the full proof holistic solution and 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 uh, the final solution has to come from some of the heroic startup in future so uh, this problem has not yet been tackled or solved and this is something where if we are not uh, doing the correct co correct mapping Uh, our entire business world order is the skewed or flawed call what you make so this is something we all must introspect on at least